What's up everyone? It's Sydney and this is your 40 minute full body burn workout. So grab some dumbbells and let's get started. you're here today for our full body workout. We've got 40 minutes of work and we've got 45 seconds of an exercise at a time with either two or three exercises grouped together. I am going to be using my bench for one exercise today and that is split squats. So if you have a bench you want to pull it out or a chair or something that you can put your foot back on, that'll be perfect. The second piece of equipment that I'm using will be a yoga block for a heel elevated squat. You can also use dumbbells and then a glute resistance band. So grab your water and your sweat towel. I'm gonna to be ranging in the lighter pulsing weights, somewhere around five pounds all the way up to probably 15 or 20 pounds. So just light to medium weights today. We're gonna to have a lot of tension, a lot of time under tension. So let's jump into your warm up. all right? Nice wide stance. I want you to take it left and right. Three, two, one, let's go. Straight leg, bent leg, just to get into the adductors. Great job, sit back and down. Upper body and lower body today, so stabilizing, we'll use the core as well. One more and then come back to the middle. Good, walk it out, pike position. There you go, bring your feet back, pedal heels down, down, down. Good job. Step it up with the left leg. Drop that back knee down. And switch. Great job. Really proud of you for showing up today. I really think you're going to like this format as well. We're going to push each other. We're going to do it together. You're going to finish feeling proud of yourself. Good. Come on back and let's separate your feet again. Drop it down into a squat where you use your elbows to push your knees outward. Start your breathing here, and let's go up and down, nice and slow, and sitting into that squat, knees and hips bend at the same rate, and one more, great work, take it up to the top, heels to glutes, great job, we'll move up into the upper body warming up just a second, but think of an intention today. Think of why you showed up and think of how you wanna feel when you're done. Okay, I will bet that not 100% of people that showed up to this workout were entirely motivated, but we showed up because we know we get something positive out of it for our health. Cross your arms over your chest. Great work, that's dedication. That's knowing that you're worth the benefits that you get to your health. So proud of you for that as well. Outside of this, I want you to make it a goal to keep drinking your water today. Big backward circles. So outside of this, the bottle that you should have around you right now, that hopefully is full of water, I want you to drink another one of those today, at least. All right. Good, let's step it out. Cross high, open low. And this just gets into the back just a little bit more. Great job. The first move that we're gonna do in 15 seconds is a lift and lower front squat. So you're gonna take one dumbbell, holding it by the ends here, okay? You're gonna go down, front squat, okay? 45 seconds right here. Two, one, let's go. And you just keep squatting, full squat, but just two different positions for the dumbbell throughout. Great work, make sure you're pushing your feet into the ground, knees are staying out, glutes are active on the way up. 15 seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Go ahead and grab what you're gonna use for your heel elevated squat. And you've got 45 seconds here. 
Okay, it can be body weight or dumbbells here or here. We sit in three, two, one, let's go. Great work. Really pushing the balls of your feet into the floor here. This can be more of a pulse. And then we're gonna go into a hold. So full range of motion, partial range of motion, isometric. Good work. Six, five, two, one. And you've got 15 seconds until we go into our hold. Okay, I'm gonna use a band. Feet can be flat. If you don't have a band, I want you to go heel elevated. You can also do a wall sit. Ready? Let's go. Hold that squat. And you'll see this theme for the next two circuits. Full range of motion, partial range of motion, isometric hold. 45 seconds each, two rounds through each circuit. Great job. If you're on the wall, make sure your chest is up, make sure your heels are pushing into the ground. If you're holding a weight, that's fine. Drive your knees outward. Seven, six, five. Two, one, rest. You've got 15 seconds. We go back through those same three moves. All right, so squat, front squat, low squat, hold. Three, two, let's go. Great work, come on, keep moving. You can increase the intensity here by increasing the speed of your transition. So drop it, go, pull it up, go. 15. Four, two, one. Great work, get your yoga block out or your dumbbells. Okay, you can also use two of these. I've decided to kind of open mine up a little bit to a V stance. Let's go in three, two, one. We're here. And you can go with a weight or without. My goal for you is to keep moving to never really stop at the bottom or the top. Breathe. That's it, 15 seconds. You're doing awesome. Don't stop for eight, seven. Two, one, yes, good job. Partial range of motion done. We go isometric, then we get set up for an upper body circuit of the same style. All right, let's go for that hold. Two, one, here we go, down. Or you're on the wall, wherever you're at, just hold. Okay, make sure you're not tucking your glutes under. Make sure also they're not way back and you're just folded over. Okay, knees and hips are bent and you're down. Good job, come up a little bit above 90 degrees to take some pressure off your knees and really think about pushing the ball and the arch of your foot into the floor. Let's go. You got 10. Set, six, five, four. Two, one, rest. Great work. Let's throw the band out of the way. Grab water. Your next circuit, 
is a shoulder press circuit. So you've got an Arnold press alternating. You've got a regular press pulse, so weight will be lighter. And then you've got a lateral raise hold, weight will be lighter again, okay? So the first one, Arnold press, your alternating arms. We're here, up and around, okay? Then you take a lighter weight right here. Then you take a lighter weight here. Let's go in five. Three, two, Arnold for 45, come on. Remember, two rounds of everything. So this isn't three or four rounds. You get one chance in round one to kind of learn it. Round two, if you can step it up, that's fine. If not, you just hold on, okay? You just don't drop, you just don't quit through the burn. Let's go, 15. Pick up a heavier weight if you need to. Three, two, one, and rest. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter. I'm gonna take five pounds off of that one. And we're pulsing. I want you to take it at a 45 degree angle. So we're here, not here. Two, one, right here. We go up and down about 75% of the way, both directions. One, two, one, two. And this is one where you can just Maybe have a conversation with yourself. Think about something else. If you were to put yourself in your favorite place in the world mentally, where would you go? Beach, mountains, parks, if you're with a certain person or people or you're completely by yourself. <laughs> 15 seconds. Take yourself there mentally. Good. You got three, two, one. Great work, visualization. Hopefully helped that out a little bit. 45 seconds of a hold. I'm dropping down to my three pound weights. You can do five pounds. You can do five pounds as long as you can. And then body weight hold. Ready, let's go. And for this one, elbows, if I tilt forward, slightly round it, okay? So they're not locked out here. A little bit rounded. I'm thinking of keeping my wrist up, my core nice and tight, nice and tall, and my spine. And we're just holding on. Isometric work. Okay, feel free to kind of let your wrists relax. That's okay. You got 15 more seconds. Hold tight. Oops. Seven. Good work, come on, hold, 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 lift it up. Four, three, two, don't drop, don't drop, don't drop, rest. Nice work, you've got one more round of that. Okay, shake it out, shimmy if you need to. Here we go, Arnold press. Three, two, last shoulder circuit, and we're off. Ironic that potentially the heaviest exercise out of this circuit is the one where it's almost the most relaxing or the most calming for your muscles. Let's go. You got 20 seconds. Can you pick up the pace a little bit? Let's get it. Three, two, one, great work. 15 seconds, we're pulsing again. Go down if you need to, seriously. On the body weight or on the hold, you can go body weight. I just want you to last. 45 seconds, embrace the burn, but push through it. And let's go. There you go. You're gonna rest your upper body in just a second. So think about the fact that you have less than two minutes until your arms are resting.
Good, 15, come on. Six, five, two, one. Oh, amazing, good job. And we go now to that hold. I want you to start with the lightest weight that you have, okay? If you need to drop weight and go body weight, that's fine. Three, two, one, elbows slightly bent, wrists are high, let's go. And I'm not asking you to come straight out here to the side, bend a little, just hold right here. About 45 degrees. That's it. Go back to that visualization exercise of you in your favorite place, with or without people. <laughs> 15 more seconds, you and me, not quitting, let's go. Up, 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 up. Hold it high, six, five, four. Two, one, great job, rest. And you're done with the shoulder circuit. Nice work and we're gonna move on to a single leg push, grab water. Okay, we've got a four exercise part here because it's unilateral. We're gonna go left leg lunges, then we're gonna go right leg lunges, then we're gonna go left leg split squat pulse, and then right leg split squat pulse. So four exercises, two rounds of each, all right? Both full range of motion on your lunges. You can choose to step forward, you can choose to hold it there and go up and down, or you can choose to go backwards. We go in four, three, two, one, let's go. I'm gonna step it out forward. You step with the same leg every time. Great work, breathe. Good, 10. Three, two, one, and rest. You're gonna take the other leg, full range of motion before we hop into the split squat. Okay, you can do weight, you can do no weight. To take a lunge aspect out of it, take the leg that would be forward in the lunge, put it forward in a squat, okay? If you need that mod, it's there. Other leg, let's go. Fifteen more seconds. Great work. Only 45 seconds here, then we'll take it to the other leg. Split squat pulse. Two, one, good work. Dumbbells or not, totally up to you. The leg that was just stepping forward is now back on the bench. If you don't have a bench, you're right here. Okay, we're gonna sit in that front leg. Three, two, Pulse it out, let's go. Good, I'm thinking of the same thing here as I do in a squat. Okay, I'm not all the way down. I'm also not standing up at the top. I'm living in between those two. That's it, the weight is over the front foot. If you're floating into the back foot, too far backwards, lean over your front quad. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Check that one out. 15 seconds, you go to the other leg, and then we do that all one more time. Four, leg back, come on, three, 
two, one. Let's sit and almost stand. <sighs> Take your time here. Look at your leg. Make sure you're over it, not over the back leg. <sighs> Think of your front leg, leg pressing the floor away. Great job, stay with me for 10. Four, three, two, one, rest. And we're back to the other leg, full lunge. Whether you're standing, you're moving back and forth, or you're going backwards, let's go. Four, three, let's go. You got 15 seconds. I'm with you still, just breathing and pushing myself. Four, three, two, one, rest. Good. Full range of motion on the other leg. Four, three, Two, let's go. Keep your hips level, big push. Think about stepping out if you're going forward lunges into a squat, okay? So what I say when I mean, what I mean when I say keep your hips level is don't let this happen, okay? If you're a little bit unsure of your balance, we can tend to do this. Step out and squat. There you go. Five. Two, one. All right, that leg now goes back onto the bench. You're doing great. Whew. You're gonna love the next couple combos. We move into kind of using upper and lower after this. All right, let's go. First leg, and we're down. Pulse up, pulse up. There you go, remember, leg press the floor away. You're over your front quad, come on. Keep fighting, keep it bent, and keep pushing. That's it, four, three, and rest. Take that leg down, switch, put the other one back. And this is the last isolation move that you're gonna do. Four. Three, two, one, let's sit. Good focus, come on. Great work, are you breathing? Are you pushing? I need you to be doing both, come on. So feel this a little bit more. Slow it down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. Good. Six, five, four, come on. Two, one, and rest. Amazing job. All right, grab water. You're moving on to a three-part move now.
All right. So we've got a Romanian deadlift clean and row. Okay. We're going to do three rounds of that one just by itself. All right. So three parts. You're going to go deadlift, two dumbbells here. Deadlift, clean. So you're bringing it up to your chest. Then you release, row. Stand back up, full speed. Deadlift, clean, and row. Okay? We'll go there in 15 seconds. I'm gonna start with 15 pounds, potentially go up to 20. This is gonna be indicative of your row weight. Three, two, one, let's go. We're back, power up, and row. Stand and reset. Nice. Good, on that row, when you come up into a clean, make sure there's a neutral hip at the top. Not here, okay, neutral. Fifteen. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Take 15 seconds, you're gonna do two more rounds of that same move. Whew. All right, this time we're gonna do two rows. Round two, two rows. Three, two, one, let's go. Here, and clean. You hinge row one and two. Great work. Come on, push yourself. Nine. Three, two, one, and rest. And the last round, you're gonna give me two deadlifts, clean, two rows. Okay, so we've added just a little bit to two parts. Ready? Let's go. Three, two, one. Two deadlifts. And then you clean. Bring it up, two rows. Fifteen. Almost there, come on, come on. Four, three, two, one, rest. Great job, you got 30 seconds to grab some water. Your next move is also a numerical combo. Two lunges, two curls. Your lunges can be reverse, we're forward. You're gonna go lunge, lunge, curl, curl. Okay, we go in eight seconds. Let's get it. Three, two, one, come on. And if you don't wanna lunge and you wanna squat, give me step back squat, and give me step back squat, okay? And then two curls. Nine. We're gonna switch this up in round two, so work hard. Four, three, two, and rest. Give me a dumbbell in, 
Just your left hand, okay? Left leg is moving. We go lunge, lunge, curl, curl, okay? Left leg moves back. Left arm curls. Let's go. You want to add a little extra into it. Give me a little balance at the top. Oh, good job, good job. 10. Three, two, one and rest, and now we take it to the other leg and the other arm. You're doing great, we're almost there. Here we go, four. Right arm, right leg moves, come on. There you go. Get back into that lunge. Lunge. Tap lunge. Great work. 15. Whew. Four, three. And rest. And beautiful job. Grab water. You're gonna lay down on the floor for this next one. I'm gonna put my shoulder blades on the bench for a glute bridge. 20 weeks pregnant, so I'm not gonna lay flat right now. If you're in that situation too, you need a little bit of an incline. Take it right here, okay? Shoulder blades on top of something that keeps basically your heart above your hips. So we're gonna go glute bridge, shoulder press. Down, up, shoulder press. You press after you get to that full hip extension, okay? We'll go in 10 seconds. I'm gonna start with my 15s again. Are you ready? Four, three, two, one, let's go. Something else that'll help if you're modifying for the same reason I am will be to put a band on your glute bridges anytime. Great work. 15 seconds. Three, two, one. Great work. Come on down, rest. You're just gonna give me a press on the right arm this time. Only the right arm. Okay, keep bridging. The other arm is either out in a T or down by your side. Right arm, let's go. Three, two, one. Come on. Good, last 15 seconds, hold that bridge. Stay up in the bridge and press, go, go, go. Five, three, two, good. 15 seconds to rest, come down, you're just switching arms. Same thing, you're gonna go 30 seconds, up and down press, last 15, hold the bridge, press it out. Whew. Four. Three, two, one, let's go.
Great work, come on, how you doing? On your next one, lift the glutes up and don't bring them back down. Two, one, glutes stay up, we press up, up. Six. Two, one, and rest. And you've got one more exercise that's gonna target your glutes and your triceps. Whew. Okay, if you have a glute band, let's throw it on. One more exercise, three rounds, and then we cool down. Okay, we're gonna go squat walk and kick back. I'm gonna grab my light dumbbells. For me, I'm gonna go five for round one, see how that goes, okay? You're gonna take your arms here by your side. As you step wide, push, 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 okay? Let's go, four, grab those light weights. Three, two, one, step out, kick back. Keep the elbows up, so make sure you're not here. Okay, you're hinged just a little bit. Good, lower it down, come on. 10. Four, three, two, one. Drop your right arm off, okay? We're stepping it out here, okay? Opposites, ready? So, right leg moves, left arm kicks. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, and if you can't get the hang of that, come up here, okay, leg lift. You're also gonna feel it in the stationary leg, so beware, that's normal, okay, because it's fighting against the band as well. And then we're gonna take five seconds before we switch and switch right over. Come on. Six, five, two, one, five seconds. Switch arms, switch legs. So left leg moves out, right leg kicks back. Let's go. Beautiful, get a little lower. There we go. Come on, at the bottom, when you step out, the legs drive out. So don't just let it slam back in. You're fighting consistently throughout this whole work period. And we're gonna go on down to the zero, or to the two minute mark. Okay, so I know technically this is 45. Let's keep rolling. Here we go. You got 10, nine, good, three, two, one, and rest. And you've made it to your cool down. We've got two minutes to cool it down before you head out. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll keep letting you know when your workouts are up and ready. Come on down to your hands and knees. Let's breathe, big inhale. Exhale, shift it back. Nice work, keep your head up here. Fill your lungs up with air. Come on up onto all fours, big deep breath in as you let your belly drop. Exhale, lift it up. And repeat. One more. Great work, walk your hands forward, leave your uh, legs there, your knees right there, and open up your hips. Puts a little bit of spinal pressure on the bottom for that flexion, bottom part of your spine. Amazing job today. Whew. 
today's lesson, push through the things that are tough. Because I know you can and your mind knows you can, but it's gonna try to get you to take the easy way out. Okay? Come back up, tuck your toes down, lift your hips up, drive your heels to the floor. Your mind wants to keep you comfortable. Your mind also is the one that shows you what your goals are. So simultaneously, it's gonna say, hey, this is what we want, but also, this is gonna be tough. That's where you get in that contemplation phase or pre-contemplation, walk back to your toes, where you never fully take that leap just because you know you want it, but you know it's gonna be a tough battle. Fight through that battle. Fighting for the, the goals that you have, that journey is gonna be so much more fulfilling than if you just sit and wait and risk having all this regret for never going for them. Bend your knees slowly, roll up to the top. Good, one more stretch, just your quads left and right and then you can head out. Okay, I'd rather your time be spent fighting for what you want, fighting for the goals that you have for yourself because you believe in yourself and because you know that those goals were placed in your heart and in your mind because they were meant for you to fulfill. Someone was meant to see you make those goals come to life, to be inspired. Think about that trickle effect of you actually achieving something and showing people that it just takes work consistently, takes some sacrifice, maybe some things you'll have to reprioritize. But imagine when you reach that goal, just think of someone that you hope admires you or that looks up to what you're doing is really inspired by you, okay? So as you head out today, if you're having trouble getting to that place of just starting, of wanting it for yourself, maybe think about someone that's the version of you 15 years younger, right? And they're looking up to you and watching your movements. They're watching you make things come to life, to be inspired to do that for themselves. I know that goes pretty deep, but I know also that you can make that happen if you just kind of keep things like that in your mind. Whatever propels you. If that's too much pressure, and you're like, I just want to keep it to myself and do it for me, go there. You just have to know what sparks your fire on the days where the mood's not there. The dedication has to be there to either inspire someone else or to do it for yourself because both of those people deserve that proof of concept. Hard work, getting to goals, being proud of them, and then moving on to the next one. I am so proud of you today. Before you head out, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. And last but not least, don't forget to let me know that you crushed the workout in the comments below. I'll see you back here for our next workout. Bye everyone. Awesome job today. I'm really proud of you for crushing week number one of the Crush program. If you want a little bit more work, click the video right here. If you want a little bit more stretching and mobility, click the video I've linked for you right here. And last but not least, click right here to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you for our next workout.